Alrighty, let's get going everybody. Running a little late today, but we'll get it done. Good morning. It's Thursday, December 17th. It's got a little bit warmer, but it's a little colder, meaning the temperature I the temperature the temperature reading says it's warmer, but it feels colder. I don't know what that is. If that's with the pressure or what it is. Like I say, that sometimes you get that bone chilling cold. This is like that type of it. You can feel it. Yeah, you got this traffic running pretty good around here. It's gonna be. You see that traffic? It's starting to build up over there. Cause those guys come from Archer, and they use this as a shortcut all the time. But uh. You know what? I was on a good meeting yesterday, last night. I'm on the. I got elected to the Min, McKinley Park Development Council. I don't know if I'm a trustee or member. I don't know what they call me. But I'm privileged and grateful to be. Have been elected to that. Uh, I think there's seven or eight of us or nine of us. There's a lot of us on the committee. But it's pretty exciting to be part of something where. You know how we mostly are part of something to uh, fix things, right? But this thing isn't about fixing things, it's more about making things. It's one of the first committees I've been on in a really, really long time in organizations where you're actually going forward and it seems like you're making things that don't exist. I don't know if anybody understands that feeling or that idea right because most most committees or groups or associations especially if they're part of a big bureaucracy right they're they're fixing things or doing things in opposition right meaning there's one thing happening so they're they're opposed to it or what, whatever it is I know there's other Organizations like like the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, right? Where they, and maybe some others where they actually do forward thinking, right? Right, training, uh, uh, leadership development, those kinds of things. And there's probably a lot more. So I'm just generalizing now. So I'm not putting it in there. But I, I guess what I'm talking about is. Not being oppositional, but being progressive. Right? And I'm not saying being oppositional is bad. I mean, that's what I do for a living. I get paid to do that, right? And I, I get paid to oppose what the employer is doing and try to fix things up for people, right? When people say this person didn't do this or this or this, I say, well, wait up. What about this? What about this? Rather than, hey, this committee, right, the McKinley Park Development Council is about, you know what? We want to set up, oh wow, look at those guys. Ready, see them flying? That's a lot of them there. A bunch flew off, see that in the, in the distance? Here they go. They're all flying off, right? I don't know if those guys are or not. There's a whole group that flew off. But it, it, it's. I, I equate it to inventing something new. You know what I mean? And I know there's groups and organizations that do it. But I just like that, right? I, I enjoy figuring. I mean, all my life I just I used to troubleshoot, figure things, how to fix things. I mean, that's what I'm trained to do. I mean, from a little kid. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Right? Look at that guy. You know those guys right there? What's up, guys? Good morning, you guys. I don't know what you're waiting for, but I'm gonna get out of your way because there's more of you than of me. In a fight, I'm sure they would win. 
It's that is a big group there. But um, yeah, all my life I've been tr a troubleshooter, right? I've worked on bicycles when I was a kid. Worked on cars with my dad. Switched to uh, residential remodeling. Then did commercial remodeling. Worked in heavy industry. Mostly as a maintenance guy. Uh, uh, machinery. Uh, I was a teacher. That's something different. And then I started getting into this union stuff. But I guess what I'm thinking about is stuff that's long lasting and affects positive change. Like where I'm at right now, this park, McKinley Park. This is a positive change. I think this used to be some kind of a dog racing park or some gambling place in the 1800s. And when they started building all the factories around here, the bad capitalists said, hey, maybe we should have a park for the workers, a place where they can go and relax and get showers and wash up. In Chicago, the concept of the park wasn't only a place where you can relax from the factories and get a break or a respite from the heavy work and toil, but it was the place because a lot of houses had a lot of the houses were tenements, meaning multiple families and multiple... Good morning, good morning. But they didn't have running water in the old days. People don't believe that. Like, only a hundred years ago in our country, some people still didn't have a running water. I, I mean, here we are, we have these fancy phones. And we have all kinds of solars and uh, special uh, dehydrated foods and medicines we can come up with a vaccine in less than a year nowadays where it took 10 years in the old days we can good morning brother good morning we can distribute stuff quickly right we can get you can send a message we don't even need to put stuff in the mail technically anymore all right we can we can take pictures of documents we can make electronic cards and instantly send them to our loved ones across the seas you know, I mean, when I grew up, I have family in Europe. You had to make an appointment to make a phone call. Does anybody remember those days? I don't know. I don't think young people understand that. Yes, we had to make an appointment. I remember when I was a kid. That was uh, AT&T. There's only one phone company, Ma Bell. And you had to make an appointment to make overseas calls. That's what I remember. I'm 52. Found that out when I was 10 years old. So that's 40 years ago. It's not that far back. And you had to make an appointment to make a call. You had to make it the right time because you had an appointment slot, but you had to always remember the time zones. So if you messed up, that was your time slot to call Europe. I mean, that's what I remember. Now I can dial Europe I'm actually sometimes talking to my aunt in Europe live through this phone or through my live feeds you know what I mean this live feed can be in Central Europe or in Africa right or in China or in uh, uh, I don't know Mongolia Australia Antarctica wherever they have a Wi-Fi connection they can hear it so Something happened between when I was 10 years old and when I'm 50 where I can instantly now communicate with anybody around the world in real time. Not even wait, not a delay. And I mean, remember sending letters and messages and packages, right? Even now, we can order something online and it can get delivered to us in the same day we want to without even moving out of our house. So I guess that's what I'm, I'm talking about is progressive. So that's this... Uh, McKinley Park Development Council we're talking about things not yes it's to fix stuff now and and to alleviate things now but not really it's more thinking forward thinking of what is gonna be here 40 years from now or 50 years from now 100 years from now just like this park I'm, I'm riding in someone thought about this park 
to make it. And guess what? This park was developed in 1901. It's what, 2020? 2021 almost? What, what is that? 120 years? 120 years, the idea that somebody had to give leisure, right? Leisure time. We talked about leisure is dear before. So workers can relax. So workers aren't uh, overwhelmed, uh, uh, befuddled by all the tasks in their life or figuring out what they're going to do with their their uh, families, right? That way, there's a lady walking there. We're gonna do show some distancing. Whoa, we didn't make it up this hill. Uh, yeah, I, I always keep my social distance. There's a lady walking over there, so. Oh man. Let me get out of these woods, right? So, uh, somebody had an idea for this park and why it's necessary, and it's here. It's here for me, it's here for my family, <clears throat> it's here for my neighbors, it's here for the people that I'll never meet. All right, I'm 52, I'll live there maybe be 70 or something like that, 80. So in 50 years, I won't, good morning. In 50 years, people will be using this park. Good morning. And somebody thought of it. That's progressivism. That's having an idea that goes forward beyond what we can see. Beyond the beyond your physical realm. Beyond this empirical I have to see it to believe it. And I get that John Dewey and all of that and that's how you learn, which is good. But in the end sometimes we have to think about things that we don't understand. We don't know about and maybe we will never use. That is the trick to life. For me, at my age now and what I'm thinking about. That's why I'm so excited to be on this development council. Because we're talking about, and, and you know, we might not invent a park like this that lasts 100 years. But we might. 100 years ago, there was people that sat around in a bunch of committees. And some made parks, some made roads, some made waterways, some made housing uh proposals whatever it may be whatnot but this park stood out and it was made and then they replicated this park actually McKinley Park is the first park that was developed as a all-inclusive place including bathhouses uh, uh, health facilities training facilities classrooms right so it's an all include it's not just come and get on the swings no that's what city parks were about See, and people seem to forget history. Here, I'll show you, right? You think I'm, I'm pulling your legs this early in the morning? The, 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 the park I'm riding in right now that you just see me doing this video was established in 1901. The park I'm riding in was made 120 years ago. And naturally, it didn't take one year to develop or something like that. In those times, there wasn't internets and zooms and... All of that fancy stuff we have now, they had to do everything by hand, by letter. They, I don't even know if 1901 they had phones yet. I don't even know how they communicated by then. That was maybe by met, let, letter carrier, right? Maybe Morse code, but I'm sure in the neighborhoods, people don't have a Morse code machine in their houses, right? So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm, 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 I'm happy to be part of something finally where... Maybe something gets left behind for the next hundred years. That's the most exciting thing. And I'm sure the people who developed McKinley Park, they uh, they had a lot of hard struggles, and they had people that were anti-park and anti-public uh, uh, buying up land and domains and egresses and all of that. There was all kinds of arguments, right? There was profiteers. There was all kinds of things, most likely, right? But for some reason, they persevered. They had a good idea. Right? And, uh, guess what? I can wake up in the morning, two blocks, and go to a beautiful place. Some people got together and had a great idea. That's wonderful. You know what I mean? It's That is the most wonderful thing, to be part of something like that. Good morning.
Happy holidays. And uh, I guess that's all I wanted to say. I don't want to say too much anymore today. I, I, I want, in my lifetime, I want to be part of something that lasts for people that I'll never meet. And that's not that's something that I want to ingratiate myself with or put a badge on my shoulder. I could give a lot of crap about that stuff. Sorry about my swearing. I usually don't. I do apologize for that. I want to leave something behind for future generations so they can have an enjoyment or an education, whatever it is. I'm not religious, even if it's a church or a service place. Anything like that, right, where, where people can go and they use it for something positive for themselves, even if it's a negative thing. Even people have to use that park for negativity, right? They have to get some of their uh, anger out or, or, or the bad vibes or whatever. At least it's a place, right, to go to. So, hey, that's my talk today, right? A little bit of... Um, Service work, I don't know if that's what, it, it's not stewardship, I don't think it's called. I'll look up the word, what I was thinking about, where you're actually making things for the future for people. I don't know what the word is, there probably is some. But hey, don't forget, we're still on this COVID thing. Uh, virtual hug, virtual kisses, right? But what do we always say? You need to really love people. That that you need to do. No virtual love there. That's That might get you in trouble too, so be careful, okay, about that virtual stuff. So, but... <laughs> That's a topic for another day, probably on a weekend Saturday night, not on a not on a Thursday morning. We won't talk about the, the bad virtual stuff, all right? But, uh, <laughs> all right, I need to get off this phone call or this Zoom, whatever I'm on, because I'm starting to ramble on. Hey, everybody have a great day. It's a beautiful day out. Let, let's enjoy what we have, enjoy our families, and go forward. Remember the COVID, though, right? And let's, let's, let's be careful for COVID. Take it easy, everybody. Bye.